Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Happy Friday! This is like a great, great day. I mean, we've had Halloween, we've had a month end, and now we get to have all the joys and the excitement of a month beginning. And so I wanted to tackle this subject, and that is, you know, discovering and discussing our target market. And so I want you guys to, first of all, think about you know, when you pop in, say hi, you know, have you heard of target market before? Does that mean anything for you? Have you done some research and some digging into target market and the benefits? Because I, I know right now in our current state of our economy, it's kind of important that we start digging into this. Hey, happy Friday, Janine. I agree. So say hi when you pop in. So you know, have you, has anyone heard about target marketing? Is this a familiar language to you? Because it's something I've been exposed to, but until only recently, you know, I'd say within the last two or three months, it's not something I've really dug into, you know, because when years ago, when I was in home business, I was thinking it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, this is the product of my company. Everybody is going to need that product. But it's kind of like owning a dress shop. Your market is not all women, right? Hey, Carrie, happy Friday. Um, just like if you're just give out bird seed to the birds, all of the birds aren't going to eat the same bird seed. So it is the same thing with our target market. Understanding that it is your you, the group of people that you specifically um, are marketing to, that your product, your service, your opportunity is specifically uh, for those type of people and understanding that you are the deliverer of that. So you are a large component of that. So I think for a lot of people, they just think it's a broad spectrum. You know, I sell mascara, everybody has to buy mascara. I sell leggings, everybody wants to have leggings. But honestly, if we do a little bit of reflection, we know it's just not true. So you want to be fine tuning your message. You want to be fine tuning how you're delivering that to ensure the right people are receiving your message. So let's talk about the right people and that's what this is all about today. So knowing that we have a little bit of research to do. So I actually have, there's three questions that you can kind of dig into and you can have some fun with this. Maybe make this a team environment, do some brainstorming on a girl's night, you know, take part of a Saturday afternoon and jump on a Zoom call. Hey Erin. And, um, and do this as a group because ultimately, um, if you're in business, you usually have a couple teammates or you're part of a team. And maybe even, you know, if you have some special clients, include them because this is really, really important. So like I said, okay, hey, Karen, we're talking about target market. So dig into, get a pen and a paper, get your gals together and dig into all of all the products or the service or the opportunity that you offer. That is, you know, what all the benefits are that you are going to help solve. So what does your product do help solve? And write them all down and do some brainstorming with that because that is, that is step one. Step two is you know in your heart of hearts who your ideal client is. Like really, we do. We know exactly who they are, but we often don't think about it. You know, so list them down. List all those attributes down. It could be right down to personality and their values. Are they married? Their income bracket, their favorite activities, the age, the sex of them, lifestyle, attitude, behaviors. Think, list out all of those things that make your most perfect client in, in your imagination. And know, you know, that's okay, that's, that's, that makes sense. And really, you know, dig it down and dig it down and dig it down. But don't just, don't try to be so broad that you're just trying to market to everybody because our time is precious. You know, uh, our marketing budget is precious. And you know, you might not think you have a marketing budget, but if you're just spinning your wheels and wasting your time, time is money. So ultimately you are spending your time, which is your money, 
spinning your wheels and not reaching anybody because you're just throwing bird seed out there willy-nilly random um, you know some birds are like it some birds that's not my favorite piece of seed and the wind blows away the rest the water washes the rest of it away and it's not reaching where you want it to go so understanding what your products are what they do the problems they solve then idealing finding that ideal client in our mind so who will gain the best from the value that you're trying to put out there what you know what will they be receiving what benefit so when you're thinking about that ask yourself the question who would have the most to lose if they don't take advantage of this product service or um, or opportunity so you know who would get you know solve some of their problems and who would have the need so, you know, just like we have, you know, people with diabetic struggles, just because they might have diabetic struggles doesn't mean that they are the right target because they're not in the right mindset. So part of your marketing message has to be that self-discovery that they might have a problem if they're in denial, you know. So you're going to have to have some fun with this and it can be very challenging. So that's why I say use your team environment, use some of your favorite clients um, and network and brainstorm among your team. So there's a couple questions that I want to wrap up with. I don't want to keep this too, too long. That it's really, it can be a lot of fun, but your message has to be able to reach them. So, you know, do I really understand what drives your target market? And when I'm saying target market, remember you're talking about people. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, be all wordy there, but that's just the language of our business. You know, can they afford your product and service? Are you reaching them with your message? And, you know, are there enough people that are fitting that criteria? And then you're just going to have to adjust your message um, to help them be able to make those kind of decisions. So just have some fun with it. I'm going to break this down into some more notes, but making sure that you're covering um, what your products do and then what your ideal client is, like down to right their attributes, so like their age and location, values, personality, and all that kind of fun stuff. Because if you're just throwing your time out there and you're just throwing your message out there and it's falling upon deaf ears and dry ground, you're wasting your time and you're spinning your wheels. So some fine tuning will reduce a lot of your headaches and a lot of your pains and your frustrations if you dig into this. So I'm going to write some notes and I will see you guys on the sunny side of life tomorrow. Let's have a fabulous Friday. You guys take care. Bye.